Hello again and welcome back to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio. Uh, today we're going to talk about Fender Stratocasters. Uh, specifically, what's the difference between like a standard made in Mexico Strat um, compared to something a bit more expensive that carries the made in USA uh, branding. Now, if you look at the Fender range, it's quite mind-boggling just how many different models of Strat they've got from the super budget like um, Affinity Series, Squires, right the way through to thousands of pounds for custom shop instruments. You know, regardless of what your budget is, you probably find something in the, the Fender range at, at your price point. Where we're going to start today though is this, this is the standard Fender Strat. It's made in Mexico, I've had this one for probably a couple of years now. Um, I bought it basically because I wanted a, a Strat, there's a, there's a kind of sound that you get out of a Strat that you know you can't, just can't get out of uh, coil split humbuckers. It's got a very nice, very distinctive sound and while you know, the Thompson Custom that you see me play loads, that's always going to be my number one guitar. I was in the market for a Strat and because as like I say there's so so many in the uh, in the Fender range you can find something at your price point this kind of suit me it's a it's a good professional quality instrument but it's not going to break the bank and um, these at the time I'm recording this uh, you can pick them up on the high street for probably about 400 to 420 uh, pounds if you if you shop around which is for something that carries the Fender logo and sounds and plays the way it does some really really good uh, really good price like. Now for all this carries the Made in Mexico uh, logo on the back of the headstock um, I believe that actually the necks and the bodies are actually made in the Corona factory in uh, in California in the main Fender factory then shipped over the border to, to Mexico where the guitars are assembled but it's classed as the Made in Mexico series. This one however body and neck and everything else were made in the Fender plant in Corona and it was assembled there. This is the USA standard uh, Strat. The, like the American big brother of the, uh, the Mexican one that we've just seen. Uh, this one is a 2000 according to the serial number on the back of the neck um, but I bought it, it's, it, I bought it in mint condition. Um, I think it's been bought and basically lived in a case. Probably by the end of the video you will have seen this guitar for longer than the guy who originally owned it. Um, so I think it's a shame just you know buying a guitar just to just to lock it away in a case. Um, but because it's fairly you know it's, it's new pretty much new condition I can make a reasonable comparison with um, the Mexican strap that I've had from you. So what do you get in the USA Strat that you don't get in the Mexican? Visually, there's two clues that this is an American. It's got 22 frets, whereas the Mexican has got the traditional 21. And if you look at the saddles and the, the whole trem, rather than the vintage style uh, trem with the six screws, this is a two uh, post trem with big solid um, stainless steel blocks. I think now the standard strap from America uses the vintage style bent uh, bent metal saddles and these big stainless steel ones only come on the USA Deluxe. But like I say, there's so many different guitars in the Fender range it's a little bit difficult to, to keep up sometimes. Uh, other differences, um, down at the headstock end we've got staggered uh, tuning pegs. So the top E is a shorter, more stubby uh, tuning post than the, the low E uh, so you get more of a break angle still got the string tree there um, it's a better quality string tree than the one that comes to standard on the, on the uh, Mexican interestingly on my Mexican strap I actually replaced the string tree for a USA style one um, very very similar probably the same I think feel neck it's like a, a modern C profile uh, nine and a half inch radius neck so in terms of just feel, um, this feels pretty much the same as the Mexican. Different electrics in the USA. Um, still got the three single coil pickups and the five way switch, as you'd expect, but the, the tone controls are, are di 
different. Whereas with the traditional Strat and what they use on the, the standard from Mexico, you've got a volume, tone control here that controls the, the tone of the neck pickup, and another tone control here which controls the tone of the middle pickup. And there's no tone control for the bridge. On the USA model, things are a little bit different. Tone control here still does the neck pickup. The tone control here is for the middle and the bridge. It's also, according to the spec sheet, and this is interesting, according to the Fender spec sheet, this should be a TBX control. Uh, if you've come across TBX before, it's like a, you can, it's for all it's passive. You can boost, uh, or you get the impression of being able to boost um, the treble. This one actually isn't a TBX. It's got a notch right the way at the, at the top. So it feels like a normal tone control, but when you, you get a little click at the high end, and what that does is it basically bypasses the tone control completely. I think there's a significant difference in the pickups. Um, the sound from the USA model, I think brighter, more glassy, more like more strap-like. Um, there's nothing wrong with the sound of the Mexican one, but when you play the Mexican Strat and then you play the, the USA one, to my ears, this has got a better sound. I think the pickups are slightly lower output. They certainly don't seem to be driving the amp as much when I put it on a dirty channel. Um, but definitely clearer, brighter, a bit more jangly than the, the, the Mexican standard. Obviously, you're just hearing it through the camera mic at the moment, but I'll um, put some proper sound samples in when I edit the video down so you can hear them, uh, hear a proper comparison between the two. You know, there's other little uh, little differences, I suppose under you know under the scratch plate here. All the the components are are higher grade, so they use CTS uh, pots, whereas the ones in the in the Mexican and the cheaper guitars will be you know mass produced lower um, lower quality things from China or wherever. Sound wise, it doesn't make a big difference. Um, it's more sort of like durability. You know, if you you ride the volume control a lot, it's going to take a bit of wear and tear high quality component it will last longer before you need to replace it just little things like that where they can tweak the the price point um, you know by using cheap, by using cheaper components so in terms of features uh, component parts and so on uh, yes you can see that you're, you're spending more for the USA model but you are you are getting more in in return for your cash in terms of general construction um, both pretty good. One thing I was surprised about with the USA is a three-piece body. I generally tend to think with the more expensive guitars you'd be looking at a one-piece or a two-piece body. Um, it's very, very nicely jointed, you know, certainly from the uh, camera distance you won't, won't be able to see, but if you get up close you can see where the, the, the three pieces would have been jointed together. Um, whether that makes a, any sort of difference to the sound is, is debatable. It's just a, you know, just, just one of those things. Mexican one, I don't know how many pieces are in the body because it's, it's, it's opaque, it's painted. In terms of general finish though, um, both are finished really, really well. Certainly the, there's not a mark, there's not a flaw at all on the USA one and the same for the Mexican. However, in terms of finish, I think the Mexican one actually wins over the USA one because of this neck. The wood on the Mexican one to my taste is a little bit prettier than the wood that they've used on the USA one. Um, both one piece maple necks, just the grain I think on the Mexican one I do prefer. And also the fingerboard on the Mexican guitar is finished with gloss whereas the American one has got a satin finish. So the the grain on the on the wood just looks nicer it, it, on the um, on the Mexican one. Purely Purely cosmetic though. Uh, in terms of colours as well, if you, you're looking to get a guitar, um, of your choice of colour, you stand more chance of picking one up from the Mexican range than you do from the USA. I guess it's just you know the, because of where they sit in the in the model range, the Fender are more like are going to sell more standards from Mexico than they are ones from the USA. So you know, for basic economics they can afford to offer a bigger range of colours. So at the moment I think the range for um, the Mexican one, it's this the, the classic Lake Placid Blue, Candy Apple Red, Black, White, uh, Two-Tone Sunburst 
and there's also a very nice one called Midnight Wine, which is like a very dark burgundy, quite quite a pretty colour. However, as you go up the, the model range, um, at the minute, I think like the American Deluxe Strap, there's only one colour available for that, um, which I think is a bit of a shame if you're spending more money, you'd like to get a bit more choice of colour, but it's for, for basic economics, um, the sell fewer guitars, so uh, there's less options in terms of colour. So, in terms of product options, score one to the, the Mexican guitar. In terms of playability, um, looking at the USA guitar, feels absolutely fine, um, really really comfortable to play, nice action on it. Um, what it has got that the Mexican guitar hasn't is this little hole in the heel plate, which is what's that's the micro tilt uh, for, the, uh, for the neck. So if you want to adjust the action a little bit, what you can do is slacken off the, the neck bolts, put an Allen key into the, uh, the micro tilt, and you can just adjust the, the angle of the, the neck a little bit to get the action quite how, you, quite how you want it. Great in terms of playability. With the US guitar, I do have slight reservation about the trem system. Um, specifically, the arm on it is quite high compared to the, the Mexican one, so it does feel like it's getting in the way a little bit. Uh, so as I'm playing, I keep thinking, I want to get this and put it in a vise and just bend it down a little bit. Um, that aside, uh, no real qualms about the playability. It's a really, really nice guitar to play. The Mexican guitar um, also is really comfortable to play, it, but it has had a little bit of fettling along the way. Um, I mentioned before, I replaced the string tree with the American style one because uh, I found the strings were catching a little bit on the, the one that came as standard which is a little bit of like a bent metal type string tree. Also down at the tremolo end um, it's a really really um, easy fix to do. The tremolo arm did wobble a little bit in the in the socket. What I did was you can get and these come as standard with the American strat is a little spring you drop down in there and when you screw the arm in the spring kind of pushes back against the arm and grips it a bit more so it stops it wobbling and I did need to spend a bit of time just setting the guitar up as you, as you do with any guitar um, but I did find that this one needed a little bit of a shim in the neck just to just to, to raise the, the neck up a little bit to, to get the action right obviously on this one there's no micro tilt so it's a little bit of um, a little bit of card or sandpaper or something I use just to just here to, to shim the neck slightly. But having spent some time setting it up, um, it is a lovely guitar to play as well. Feels a little bit different to the American one, but certainly it's a very, very nice guitar to play. And with what looks like a massive continuity error, this is the bit of the video where I show you what these two guitars uh, sound like. Whilst I was recording the main part of this video, my amp started to sound a little bit weird and it looks like it's got to the stage where the tubes have just died. So rather than using my usual rig, because I've spent a couple of days um, messing around trying to get the amp up and running and sounding good, bit of a failure. So for these sound samples are going to be falling back on the old Korg Toneworks Pandora PX4. This is getting a bit long in the tooth but still has some decent sounds. So. Using that, I'm going to plug in, let you hear the Mexican Strat, let you hear the USA Strat, and you can compare and contrast the two. Right, cue the music.
suppose the big question though is which one of these should you look to buy? Do you want to go for something middle of the range like the Mexican Standard or spend a bit more and look at something from the American range? Obviously it depends on factors like how much money you've got, what your budget is, how much you can justify spending on a guitar because obviously if you're a casual hobbyist it's a whole different ball game to if you're a working musician who's you know this is a tool of your trade this is how you you know how you make your your living there is a big difference in price between the two though um this mexican standard at the moment i think you can pick this up for somewhere between 400 and 420 pounds on the high street uh looking online to see what the the retailers are selling the um american standard for you're looking at at least a thousand pounds, I think. A um, bit of variance on price with the, the websites I was looking at. One, I think, was just under a thousand, other ones getting on towards 1100. So that's a big price hike. Yes, you get some better quality component parts. It's got a better sound, I think. Um, you get that extra fret, you get the, the slightly better trem system, the two post trem. Whether you're you to you, to you there's 600 pounds 700 pounds worth of extra goodness in that american guitar only you can decide now retail value um will obviously go down when you come to sell the guitar second hand there's less prestige in a mexican guitar so you will take a bigger hit on on this if you come to sell the mexican guitar compared to if you try to sell on um an american guitar uh, but just thinking about you're buying a guitar to play, not like this, the guy who had that um, American one just to lock it away in a case. But, you know, thinking about a working guitar. If you've got £420, and this is just my opinion, if you've got £420, this is a great guitar, you want to strike, I would say go out and buy one of these. Spend a little bit of extra um, on a set of strap locks and whatnot, and you've got a really good working guitar. If you need a second guitar, it's ideal as a backup. If you've got a bit more money, should you be looking to buy the US one? Well, I think if say if you can live without the two post trim and you can live without the um, the twenty second fret, I would say buy the Mexican, get a new set of pickups, change the elect change the electrics, put a set of CTS pots in, and with the pickups you've got much more choice. Um, there's nothing wrong at all with the pickups in in the, in the Mexican guitar, but you could replace them with a set of Fat 50s, a set of Texas Specials, you know, look through the Seymour Duncan catalogue, there's dozens of different pickups you could, you could choose from to get the guitar sounding just the way that you want. So as a, you know, a good working guitar that hasn't cost you a lot of money so you don't worry about if it gets a, a knock or two when you're gigging, this is a really, really nice guitar good value and it's because it's a it's a strat it's component part so it's it's upgradable and you can fettle it to um to kind of like your personal spec and it's a, you know there's nothing wrong at all with uh, with the mexican that said though i have really enjoyed playing this guitar today it's very nice um it does feel a step up from the mexican one it certainly sounds um nicer than the mexican one to my ears Considering though that the retail on you know the, the new USA standard Strat is about eleven hundred pounds compared to four hundred and odd for the Mexican, I don't know if I'm feeling and hearing six or seven hundred pounds worth of of better. Um, and I try not to think about guitars in terms of well, what's the resale value on it? Want to sell this on a guitar? It's something you buy to use and to play. It's not something to just keep in a case or, or whatever and you know treat it like a collectible. As a working instrument, to be honest, I think I would find it hard to justify spending um, like the eleven hundred pounds or a thousand pounds or whatever on the USA standard when you can get a perfectly good guitar like the Mexican. That said though, this is really really nice. Okay, so there we've had a, a comparison between just two guitars out of an absolutely vast range from Fender. Um, so, like I said at the start of the video, no matter what your budget is, you'll probably find something uh, in the Fender range uh, that suits you in terms of um, spec and, and price point, you know, all sorts of options. If you want humbugging pickups in, um, if you want Floyd, Rose Trem, stop tailpiece, big headstock, small headstock, 
maple neck rosewood fingerboard there's tons and tons of options um, across the range and we've only taken a look at, at two today but um, hopefully that's kind of giving you an insight to the, the kind of the differences that you get between different guitars in the range and sort of what you get for your money hope you found that interesting if you like the video then please click on the like button down there somewhere uh, if you really like it then please click on the subscribe button which is also down there uh, somewhere so you can be notified of any other new videos that are posted on YouTube if you've got a question that you want to ask or suggest something for a future video then you can ask it here and hopefully I will see you in another video sometime soon bye for now